here on a Monday night is Classy Show. Good. Clap it up for yourselves, yeah. Good, good. All right, clap it up. If you're one of my Lyft customers and you promised to be here tonight because we shared good conversations in the car and we were connecting and understanding good level. No. Linda? We shared recipes. Tyler? We talked about your divorce. What? I showed no judgment. Okay. That's me. Hey, I smoked some CBD weed, huh? Yeah. I feel so fucking numb. I, I feel so numb. I don't feel anything, huh? I don't feel anything. I don't feel anything. There's something in there. I don't know. I'm a little bit cautious with weed these days. Uh, back from the East Coast, I remember like, if you showed up with weed and a ball, you're the hero. I remember those days. Here, you're not the hero. Um, everyone has it. Everyone, if you have it, you're like showing up and he's like, oh good, Jaren's here, he's late. Come on. Let's pack it up. What you got? What you got? Like, okay, guys, I got sativa. I, I know it's 2 p.m. I'll, I'll let me pack it up, you know? This guy, Thomas, was like looking over my shoulder. He was just like, um, hey, Jaren, um, how much, what's the percentage of the THC you got in that weed? He's like, oh. And I looked at the bottle. I was like, oh, it's, it's 18%. He was like, oh, sorry? I was like, it's 18%. <laughs> and he was like, oh, Jaren, you could put that away. <laughs> we got Maui Waui up here for 30%, all right? We're trying to get high, not feel all right, Jaren. I was like, you're right. I dumped out the weed. He was right. What kind of time I'm living in. Hey, I'm Jaron George, a.k.a. Black Licorice. A.k.a. a slice of Kit Kat. Just a slice. Just a slice. Hey, just a slice. Uh, yes, I'm a skinny black man, and I'm cold all the time. Um... The goosebumps are um, coming up right now on my, my hands, but that's okay. Um, let me tell you, I, I was working out today, and like I was trying to bulk up, you know? I'm, I'm trying to get those muscles. So I'm looking at myself in the mirror. I was like, damn, my first workout, not bad. I'm going to take a selfie. So the moment I took a selfie, this is how skinny I am. I took a selfie, and then once I flexed just a little bit, I passed out. <laughs> Planet Fitness, the employees got to me right away, huh? Shout out to them. Shout out to them. Hey, I'm, I'm so skinny. Uh, my friends, they won't let me hold their babies. That's, it's a problem. Uh, the wingspan, you know, it's not safe. It's not safe. I try, you know. Um, I'm from Brooklyn, New York. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Um, you know, my family's from the East Coast. I'm the first one from the West Coast uh, to move out here. And uh, I'm not trying to say I, I don't get along with my family. I, I'm like the black sheep of the family. Oh, the white sheep, if that makes sense. Um, an example is that uh, I, I go to Costco with my uncle to help him with his bulk savings. And um, he, there was one time he asked me, like, if um, he, he was asking me if I want a music CD. So we went to Costco's prestige music um, department. <laughs> Walked over, he was like, hey, nephew, I'll get to this Jay-Z album. I was like, oh, no thank you, uncle. He's like, oh, I get it, too much profanity, I get it. How about Will Smith, huh? You want to get jiggy with it? How Will's, um, with Will Smith, how huh, nephew? I was like, no. And I took all the courage because, like, the stuff I was listening to now, um, I don't think he would agree, but I point out the CD, and I was like, I want that one, uncle. And he's like, oh, uh, Dave Matthews Band, Before These Crowded Streets? Okay. So... He got that for me and a quiet ride home, you guys, huh? <laughs> Lasted for many years. Good value. Good value. Good value. Um, hey, uh, good news. Did you hear about this? Uh, Pokemon Go is more popular than Tinder, huh? Did you hear about this? Now, I'm not trying to brag here, but um, I got some Pikachus and some Charizards up for, um, for trade. Ladies! All right, try again tomorrow. We'll try again tomorrow. Um, uh, things are going well. Um, I'm getting better with dirty sex talk. Uh, I'm getting better with it. Uh, first time trying it out back in college. Uh, did not really go well. 
I was in this interracial uh, relationship. She was white, I was black, and uh, we were getting it on one of these days. And uh, um, I don't know how that's the punchline every time I explain it. <laughs> 2018, but okay. Yeah, so we were getting it on. And then she started throwing out the dirty talk. She was like, um, oh, Jaren, oh, you're like my mocha king. I was like, all right, yeah. Yeah, Jaren, give me that chocolate cake dick. And I was like, okay, all right. You know, you know, we were turning around and everything, and she was like, um, Jaren, and you? Like, it's my turn, like, like on cue. And I was just like, yeah, baby. You know, chocolate cake dick is on the way, you know? And then she, she was getting impatient. She was like, uh, no, Jaren, no, talk dirty, racially. And I was like, oh, okay. Um, so, like, she got me in the moment, but here's the thing. She was, like, all food-related. So, like, the thing on my feet, so I'm just like, yeah, baby, oh, you're, man, you're so hot, like, like egg whites. <laughs> she, she sighed, and then she dismounted off of me, and then... Um, <laughs> She went to get her clothes, and I was still trying. I was like, where, where you going, my bowl of mashed potatoes? Where you going? No? Where you going, my coconut custard pie? Where? She hesitated at the coconut custard pie. She was like... <laughs> I should have started off with that. Damn. I was hungry. Told y'all I was mocking up here. Yeah. Damn. Um, and... Here's the thing, like, uh, my mom's about to get married. Is that good? Yeah, that's good, yeah. Now, she didn't announce she's getting married. I just know, like, she's, like, third year, three years in, and she's, like, 65. It's going to happen, you know? Like, it's going to happen. You know what that means for me? The reason I'm happy is because, like, this is the fifth stepdad tryout, huh? Fifth one, huh? Does he got what it takes? This is my American Idol. I'm Simon. Does he has to take to go to Hollywood? It's not Hollywood. It's just my blessing, um, you know. Because here's the thing: like, I get like an extra birthday gift or a Christmas present, you know. Like he's proving himself, you know. So I'm, I feel like I get something extra. I'm just saying, don't fuck it up like Nick, okay? <laughs> Nick was the last one, and I wanted a PlayStation Three. You know what this dude got me for my birthday? Freaking dress socks, okay? No, Cliff, don't fuck it up. That's his name, Cliff. This is what I want. For Christmas, I want a Nintendo Switch. And uh, let's talk about 401k plans. I don't, I don't know how to... That's stepdad advice right there, you know? I, don't fuck it up. Um, I'm an after-school instructor. And uh, uh, I realized that uh, kids are nosy. You know, they're really in your business. Uh, I'll give you an example. I was tying a second grader's shoes, and like um, after I tied his shoes, his name is Ethan. So I was like, "All right, Ethan, time to go off and play." All right, and he was like, "Thank you, Mr. G." Oh, Mr. G, I saw you, and I was like, "What?" Like just like deadpan tone, like I saw you. I was like, "Yeah, buddy, Mr. G's here. Yeah, he's in the school. He's in the house. Mr. G's in the house. What are you talking about?" And he's like, "No, I saw you." At Fred Meyer the other day. And I was like, Fred Meyer? The only one is like across town. That's my Sunday afternoon. That's Mr. G's Sunday afternoon. I want to tell him that. Because it's weird like seeing a kid like, um, like from the school at Fred Meyer. One time a kid saw me and I had to like, I was like, oh, hey, buddy. I don't even know his name. But I was like, hey, buddy. And I had to look at the parent. I'm just like, I work for the school. Okay. Here's my ID. Because the parent's going to ask like, hey, who's that black man you were talking to? You know? So this kid didn't say hi to me at the supermarket. He was just like, just noting my business. And he was just like, I was like, Ethan, just run along. Yes, I was at Fred Meyer, big deal. And I was about to walk away. He's like, oh, well, you're at the frozen fruit section. And you're just by yourself. And it looked like you were just getting one personal pan frozen pizza. And I was like, buddy, okay, that's enough, all right? And I'm about to walk away. And then he was just like, oh, but Mr. J, I have one more question. Uh, do you always cry in the parking lot before you drive away? <laughs> You don't know my problems, Ethan. Go along. Like, you know, but um, I, I'm, I'm doing good. Um, last thing, I, 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 I spend the time where I just like, you know, I try to relax, self-care and all. Um, I've been playing a cool game called Puppy Farm 3. Anyone? Puppy Farm 3? 
you get to farm adobo puppies on a virtual farm, you know? And I skipped one and two. It was good advertising. So, like, you get to farm these virtual puppies, right? And you get virtual biscuits. So if they don't behave, you give them a virtual biscuit and, you know, they behave. I ran out of the virtual biscuits. Um, there's in-app purchases. I'm not falling for that. So I thought I could train them without it. Uh, turns out I can't. Uh, they were misbehaving, like running all over my virtual bedroom, pissing in the corners. And I was getting stressed out because I was like, I don't got time to run a virtual puppy farm now. Are you kidding me? I'm so busy. This is crazy. And I'm going to take off, I took off the game off my phone. But before I did that, listen, before I did, took off the game off my phone for $10, listen, there was a special for $10 because I didn't want anything to happen to my puppies in the cloud when I'm gone, you know? Like, I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know if someone's going to take them in. I, I don't want that on my conscience. So for the $10, because I cared so much for the $10, I got them put down. <laughs> for, for the $10, because I didn't want anything to happen. It will be my burden, you guys.